Hi, this is the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 28th of March 2020, uh, live from Bedwas in lockdown, but not currently in self-isolation. I'm going to try, I will go at not talking too much about the coronavirus, COVID-19, not because I don't think it's important, um, but everyone else is. And I just want to talk about something else, a little bit different. Anyway, so uh, the week back, um, starting on Sunday, um, if you watch these, you know that I've got a new PC, so I swapped the old one out and put a new one in and my plan was to take the drives out of the old one and connect them maybe to the Raspberry Pi or the Synology. Okay, first thing I discovered, there was a hell of a lot more muck and dust and bits and pieces in the old PC than I thought. Two, I couldn't work out how to get them out. I could get at them from one side and not the other. And it took me a long time to realize there was a little catch and they would both swing out. And boy, were they covered in dust and fluff and things, whatever. Um, I was debating whether to wash them, but I don't think that's very good for um, hard drives. Anyway, um, I already had a case for the SSD. Um, I formatted it um, in my PC and then I realized it didn't because as soon as I plugged it into the Synology, it said, do you want to format and completely do it and um, turn it into an extension for drive? It integrates really well. Um, I put my movie database uh, for Plex on there. And boy, does it go. Um, it's a little winner. Um, all you need to do is plug the USB cable in the back and it's seen and point a new database at it and you're in business. And I'm very impressed. Um, I got a four um, terabyte hard drive out of it as well. Um, I'm debating whether or not I should add that to it or save some money because I'm running out of disk space and maybe swap up both disks. Uh, these are the big decisions that I'm getting. Anyway, um, designated as a key worker, so I was back to work on Monday. And here's my little tip. Um, with most people being off, um, I think supermarkets sell out early in the day. Um, I popped in my local Aldi's after work. Okay, it wasn't completely full of stuff, but everything I needed, um, and I've already got toilet rolls, so I'm not panic buying, um, was there and it was in and out although i think on tuesday i went to um tesco's and um they had security guards and there were more barriers for standing back but still they had a lot of stuff i managed to get some bread rolls which was rather nice and uh, much of the other stuff that i needed and no more than i actually needed as well so um that is the plan only get what you need. There's been in the, um, I think it was um, Wales Online about Cardiff, lots of bins are full of um, bread that's gone over and food that's gone over and such like. Buy what you need. Don't buy too much, but buy enough so that you only go out. Well, I see I'm getting a bit preachy now, uh, but once a week. He said, going down to the court this morning and coming away with a couple of fine ales and some bananas um, because balanced diet. Anyway, Monday night, um, Boris announced a lockdown. Obviously, I was going to stay up to watch it because it's well past my bedtime. And I fell asleep and woke up at five to nine. And probably had the best bit by getting the news part of it. I'm getting old. Anyway, um, what can I tell you about the week? There are lots of idiots about. Um, those people in North Wales, those people in the West Country, uh, um, and kids all over the place. And because there's a bit of a drought going on, we've already had fires on the mountains. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. But what can you do? Um, I have a letter uh, from my employer, and those who know me know who I work for, um, saying I'm a key worker. So I was in work all this week, and I will be in work next week. And we are a little bit very busy at the moment. Um, I don't want to give away any secrets because I can't. Um, but all hands to the pumps. 
anyway um yeah as i said earlier it's a drought we've got high pressure weather so it's frosty overnight and in the daytime it's nice and sunny it's getting quite warm apart from today there is a very chilly wind which is stopping me at the moment mowing the lawn which is safe at being out the back and there's no one else there but boy is the wind cutting uh, but what can you do and uh here's the issue can't get any compost um b and q or tesco's will be my normal place of getting it um b and q is only click and collect and there's nothing there i suppose that's correct so what can you do and tesco's they usually have in the entrance way it's now full of hand sanitizer so you can sanitize your hands going in which is sensible enough i might have to raid derek Derek the green dalek my compost bin however um he doesn't really get hot enough deep down inside to kill all the seeds so the compost he produces tends to be a bit full of weeds or weed seeds which come up through the year however uh, if this goes on for much longer which it probably will um then derek i'm coming for you you little hero yeah i am a little bit strange anyway um i'd like to say thank you to all the nhs workers all the other health workers and um people like the bin men i don't know if we're allowed to say bin men anymore um and the people who work in shops and the delivery drivers uh, that sort of person um petrol sales people um we still need to get around so i thank you for going into work and interacting with members of the public despite the dangers and for the most part remaining humorous and helpful anyway i think we will beat this in the end but it's going to take a while thank you very much bye bye oh take care